Hi everybody, this is Shelly, and I'm just going to do a video for you to show you all of the different planners that I have. Um, I don't use all of them, um, obviously, because I have a bunch of them, and even if I had a purpose for each of them, it would just be too much to keep up with. But I thought I would show you all the ones that I have, and then um, I'll show you the ones that I'm not using first, and then I'll show you the ones that I'm currently using and what I use them for and whatnot. So I have the three Filofaxes. And then I have my um, notebook that I'm using for my Fobonichi. And then those are all of the Dories that I have. So I'm going to start with the file effects. The file effects is kind of what started all of this for me. Um, I came across a YouTube video on file effects. Um, and that was just super intriguing. I had seen them, but not really seen um, you know, in depth how they were used and all that. But anyway, so this was the first one that I bought. And it's just the... Um, personal size black domino and I got this right at the end of 2013 and right now I'm not using this um, all I have inside it is just the kitty qualia inserts they're just the bright grid inserts and then a set of dividers that I made when I first um, started making dividers and I don't use these anymore so it's just got um, in a pocket but that's all that I've got in here. Um, I just wanted to keep it because I like it. I like the black and eventually, you know, I don't know that I'll use it again. But, you know, if my daughter wanted one someday, um, then maybe she could use that. But I like it. And it's really held up pretty well. It doesn't have um, any real wear on it. And there's a little scratch right here. But, you know. And then the other file effects that I have is another domino and it's red it has not fared as well in the and it the coloring here is like really bad but um, it is like a really deep like a crimsony red color it looks really bright here on camera but you can see it's pretty beat up I think just the bigger um, it's this has been on it since the day I set it up um, and it, I think what's underneath this PU stuff is um, cardboard and so I think what happens is the cardboard gets dented um, easier on these bigger ones but this one I actually have set up but I I don't use it anymore and I probably I'm thinking about using this one for school I haven't decided between um, this and the new dory that I made today but um, I have it set up for my books but I really like the size for like notes and stuff and I ordered a bunch of this um, lined paper from Kitty Qualia I think I have like a hundred I ordered like a big pack and so I may set this up for school I haven't decided yet it has the A to Z file and everything but I've also on my want list is the new pink patent A5 and if it comes back into stock on Filofax USA anytime soon, then I, I'm, I think I'm going to order the pink patent one for school. And then I'll just keep this one set up for my books, even though it's way, way far behind right now. And I do have a video um, on my setup for this on my channel. So and it's probably, um, it's not... I don't know. I'll link it anyways in case you don't want to go look for it and you're interested in that. But um, I like this size and I think it would be good for just carrying around in my backpack for school. But I, like I said, I haven't decided what I'm going to do for sure. So let's see. I'm going to save my other file effects because I'm using that one. Now I'm going to show you my um, Dories. Um, I made one originally, my very first one, um, out of tooling leather. And I just bought a sheet of tooling leather at Hobby Lobby. It's really super stiff. And I bought a bottle of EcoFlow um, dye. I think it's acorn brown. And I loved it. And I then had seen where um, I could get them in color. So I bought this one for myself for my birthday. And the other one I made was the same size as a regular Midori. And my son wanted it, so I ended up giving it to him once I got my regular Midori. But I ordered this one off of Etsy. And um, for those of you who are on the 
you know, Facebook, Midori Facebook pages and stuff. Um, it's made by Tracy, um, I can't remember her last name, but her store, um, name on Etsy is Mole's Mum. Um, I want to say Reinhardt, but I'm not for sure, but, um, and she puts this little charm on all of hers, and then I just added this one. Now, I bought this whole package of charms, and I do not like them. Um, I put them on a couple of mine. I don't like that if you don't get the elastic just the right way, it's upside down, and I was always fighting with making sure that when I flipped this around that this wasn't upside down. I don't use this one anymore, and I'll tell you. Um, it came with just the one elastic, and the first thing I did was I punched holes and added two more elastics, which I wish I would not have done, but I did, and it was all right for a while. I don't like this leather at all. Um, I don't, the quality of the dory is fine. It has nothing to do with that. Um, I also don't like that it doesn't seem finished. And, um, like, it's, I don't know if you can see that. It's all, it, like, sheds little pink pieces. But this is, like, it's super floppy. Um, and I just never got used to how floppy it was. So I just... I like the color, um, I don't know how true this, it's kind of a mauve pink color, it's not hot pink, um, but I just never really cared for the leather itself. Um, I'm assuming that these pieces are bought already colored, and then she just makes the, um, because it's a pretty even color, it's not like somebody dyed it. It does scratch up like that, just like a regular Midori. Um, but these are the inserts that came in it, and I just put them back in when I stopped using it. They're just plain um, copy paper inserts, or, you know, they're not like any special paper that I know of. But And I'll probably eventually use them, or I'll give them to my daughter. Um, but, yeah, so this one just sits on my shelf. I don't use it. I don't anticipate that I will ever use it again. Um, I don't know. Um, so anyways, it just sits there. It's a pretty color. Um, eventually I may sell it. I don't know. It buckles weird. Um, you can see right there because of the, the added elastics. So I could take those out and it would just have little holes there, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I don't use it. So that's that. Okay. So here I made, I bought a piece of leather from Amazon um, when I first, after I got the pink one. Actually, I may have ordered this before I ordered the pink one. And it's fairly stiff leather. And I don't remember what the thickness was. Um, but it's super thick. Um, you can see there. It's really thick leather. But it was already this color. I didn't have to do anything to it. It's real soft. It's not like shiny. Um, like if you dye your own leather or you buy the... Um, shoulders or the bellies or whatever. It's not that kind of leather. It's already like a soft. So I had bought these little notebooks at um, Joann's. I think they're Kathy Davis <clears throat> and they were in this little three pack and I had bought these um, on clearance. I think I got a little pack, the pack of three for like 97 cents or something like that. <clears throat> so I wanted to make this one to fit it. So I made this little one, um, and I made mine with these on the um, spine. I have since stopped making them that way. Um, but I did the three bands, so each one of these books is in its own band. I And it's a, it's a plain, a grid, and lined, and they each ha are on their own band. I have this. I've never used it. Eventually I'll use it for something I thought, you know, I could throw it in my purse, use it for ideas, or notes or whatnot, but I have not used that. But I was able to get one more. Um, I, I wanted to do the big one, and that's why. It wasn't a really big piece of leather, so I got these two out of it. That was all I got out of it, and I think it was like $12. So um, I made this one, and you can see I put this on here. Um, but this is the one that drives me nuts, because I do use this book. Um, not a whole lot right now, but I did use it during school. I would take it, and I'll show you. Um, I made this one for the moleskin large K-Hears, or 
Kaye, however you want to say that. And so this one also has three bands. Each one of these books is on its own band. So I have um, this in here, and I just doodled on it. Book review notes. I've only done one. I started two. Um, so I may repurpose these notebooks for school, and I may just cover this and or just put a tag over it and use these for school I don't know or I'll just buy new ones for school and then I have this one creative writing and I did we were writing slam poetry um, the fifth graders and so I did my own slam poem and that's all I've used this one for too and then this one is just blank um, but I wanted this size and I think since I have a little bit of excess room in here I think that um, I could probably fit five in here. but And let's see if this works. Probably won't. So, yeah, it went right. Most of the time it's upside down. And then it flips. I don't know. I just don't like these. I have the whole package. Um, I, when I made the um, doorways for my kids, they all picked one out. So they all have one on theirs. But um, So this, and it's a little... Like it buckles just a little from the three, but this leather is so stiff it's not as noticeable. I mean, this is really stiff, and it marks up some, but it's just not. I don't. I like the leather, but it's just not what I had pictured. Okay, so I had gone to a uh, Tandy. Um, it's probably been about six weeks ago. And I picked up a pretty good size piece of leather, and I made all three of my kids um, little dories. I made, my daughter wanted, what size did we do? We did the same size of the large moleskin K here, size for her. And then my son wanted a regular size, and then my other son wanted the field note size, which this little one... Um, I think this is approximately filled note size. It's a little bit, it's not the same size as Passport. So I made myself a couple out of that same piece of leather. And I made these two today. I made um, a Passport size, which I was going to show you. This is a Passport size. And so this one is just, it's about the same width, but this one's about... I don't know, a half an inch taller. So I don't have any passport size inserts. I just took um, the passport um, dimensions from Ray, I believe it was from Ray Blake's um, site. I had um, written those down a long time ago. So I'm hoping that this one will fit um, passport size. And I just did the one band. And um, they're still not quite all the way dry. And I don't have the thick elastic. I had bought a card with a bunch of different colors of elastic at Hobby Lobby. So that's what I put in here for now. And I don't think, sorry, I think that once I get books in here, I don't think this elastic is stiff enough to hold it together. But that is got to, I put a green one on this one. Um, but I just wanted a passport size. I don't, um, I don't know. I'm going to start ordering some passport inserts, and I thought I might try to use this as a wallet. I don't know. We'll see. So, I just thought I had enough, uh, and this was a thinner, a little bit thinner piece, so I went ahead and used that for that. And then I made another, the large, um, moleskin size. So I love the color that this turned out. I just kept adding and it's the same acorn brown and I just kept adding more and more and more until I got it as dark as I wanted it and I just put the brown and this is also the real thin elastic and I don't think it's going to hold um, but I have this really weird spot on the back that no matter how much I added I could not get that spot to take the color. But it's on the back. It doesn't really bother me. Um, and I put, let's see, I started going through the back for mine because I kind of like that better. Um, I put the two, I just did the two bands in it. 
so um, I need to order some more moleskin. Um, and this one I think is what, if I don't end up using the, sorry for the glare, if I don't end up using the um, Fodor, or my uh, A5 file effects for school, I'm going to use this. I probably will use this because I have three classes on campus and two online, and I can fit five of those. Um, I should be able to fit five of the large moleskins in here, and then that will be one for each class. So I think I'm probably going to go this route. So those are the ones that aren't currently in use. So I'm going to show you what I do have currently in use. And this is another one that I made for myself out of that same piece of leather from Tandy. And this is just the natural leather. I wanted to see how it would um, wear over time. And I don't carry this though, so... I don't know if it will wear, and I had originally just wanted it to be like this, um, but then I decided to use it for an art journal, and so I decided that I was going to paint the TARDIS on the front. So that's what I did, and you can see there's little pieces of white because I sealed it with just the painted part with, um, what did I seal it with? Some, uh, it's a gloss medium which I should not have done the gloss because um, it's cured now but I set something down on top of it a couple of days after I painted it on and it kind of stuck so there's like little white spots which don't really bother me but I actually took and you can see where the band went across while it was still curing and I should have waited um, but I t actually cut this out. I printed this out as a to use as a guide or whatever. And I actually let's see if I can. I actually um, used the gloss medium to adhere that and that part on, just so I wouldn't have to try to um, put the words and everything. But and it's crooked. <laughs> but you know, I did it, and I'm kind of proud of it. So I don't really care that it's a little bit crooked. But this is my art journal, or one of my art journals. Um, so I'll just show you really quick what I have in here. This is the um, insert that came in my uh, Midori when I ordered um, the regular size Midori. So I just, I don't, um, I didn't know what I would use just the plain paper for, so I just decided to start using it as an art journal. Um, so... I'll just do a little flip. I don't have very many spreads done, but this is just my the Fault in Our Stars um, spread. And then just a couple real quick. Um, no rhyme or reason, just then I have this started. I haven't done anything with it yet. But So that's what this one's for. And I wish I would have realized that band was leaving that mark, but all right, that's all right. Okay, so my Midori. Um, I decided at some point that, you know, I wanted to know what the real Midori felt like. And I think everybody at some point does this where the faux Dories are all fine and it's fun when you can make your own. But there's just something really um, intriguing about having the real thing. So I ordered from Amazon. Um, because they were really, I think I got this for like $38, $36. Um, and I love it. The leather, I love the way it feels. I love it when it gets scuffed up. I switched out the band and put the orange in. Um, I was, I used this for a planner for, um, I don't know, a couple of months. Um, I've had this one for about, oh, six or eight weeks. Um, and it's got the little mark up here where I had a binder clip on it. Um, but I don't know. I just love it. I love the way it feels. It's just perfect. Um, right now I'm just using it as I've got um, a journal insert and I've got a bullet journal insert, which I'm really, really horrible about bullet journaling. I'm just not good at it. So, And I don't do enough during the summer to warrant having one, but I've been doing one anyway. So... I made this, um, it's a dashboard, and what I did is I made, um, I got this cardstock, this double-sided cardstock, and I laminated it, um, and it's pretty heavy cardstock, so it's pretty thick, 
Um, and I laminated it and I cut it out and I used packing tape to attach it to this envelope that I made out of the same um, cardstock. So this just has little pieces of paper in it I was using for a food journal. And I just had the little clip to hold it close. But I just used a bunch of layers of packing tape. And every time my packing tape starts to get kind of funky from the elastic, I just add another layer. Um, and eventually I can just cut it off and then just redo it. But I like having, I got some little sticky notes on here. Um, I don't use them. I mean, I write things on them every once in a while. But I put these on here and I don't use those at all. So I should probably just take those off. But anyways, this is my uh, bullet journal insert. I started it in April, and I I haven't really done anything. I'll show you. Um, that's my index. Um, this is April. Um, I did a calendar. I don't know why. I don't use it. Um, I did a cleaning list, books I need for a fall semester. Um, just different. I mean, there's nothing. I did the June 3, 65, 30. That's as far as I got. I didn't do one single list for that. So I did a July. I still don't have any to-dos. I have nothing written down. I just did this last night, though. Um, and then I wrote down the 365.30 list, which is super long, and some of them are just bizarre, so I don't know if I'll do this or not. Um, but that's what I have there. <clears throat> and then I have um, the clear pocket, um, and then on the other sides back here. And then I have this pocket, came. this is the craft pocket folder that came with the um, pink dory that I got from Tracy. So I just have some little stickers in it, um, a little thing of washi that I got um, from a um, rack. Um, and then there's the other side. I don't even think there's anything in it. Yeah, just some little cards. Um, I keep these little things from... I got a ticket from a game. And I like to keep these little Goulet um, pen things because I like to see who I get the packages from. And then just some other little cards that I got from Rex. So this is the other insert I have. And I'm not going to do a flip through of this just because this video is going to be really long and I don't want to do a flip through. But this is a journal. Um, I started when I got them, when I first got. Um, the Midori inserts, which was before I got the actual Midori, and this is the thin, the 128 page one, and I love it, and I have like six, I think I've ordered four or five of them, but I haven't filled it out, but I'll do a flip through of this um, in a video on its own, but it's just a journal. So I've been carrying this in my purse, um, but I'm not using it as a planner right now. So that's that. And the last one I have, I am back to, and I'm sorry about the glare, it's the patent leather. I moved back into this this week. <clears throat> I don't know why. I saw, I've saw. i been watching videos on YouTube and I just felt like I wanted to move back into it for a while to see. So this is my uh, File Effects Original Patent Personal Size and I love it. Um, I'm not going to show you too much. I'll do like a flip through of it but um, that's what I'm using right now for a wallet um, and for a planner, like I said, it's summer and I'm not doing a whole lot. I work, go to the gym every day and um, we go swimming once a week and things like that. So I'm not doing a whole lot, so I don't have a lot of um, things going on. But um, I'm still working on my setup to kind of tweaking it and all that. And then I will um, do another video to show you that at some point. But... Um, so that's what I have. Oh, the last thing, and I use this one every day. And um, if you've been watching my videos, then you've seen this one. This is my um, Hobonichi, Fobonichi. Um, I did go through um, yesterday while I was watching TV, and I added all the quotes in. So I'm caught up on all my quotes. Um, I just got to do the weather. Um, but I love this thing. It's it's going to be so neat when it's all filled out. And I'm like one of those people I have a really hard time sticking with something. So it's going to be a challenge for me just to uh, make myself do this every day. But those are the, all the journals that I'm using. And I'm sorry this video is probably super, super long. So I am going to leave it at that. And I will see you later on. And I will do a flip through of my Midori and um, another video of my file effects. So thanks for watching and I will see you later. Bye.